Number 11, our next speaker is, oh, great, we've got the slide. Jonas Wagner, who's going to talk to us about tools to create reliable software from the reliably named Dependable Systems Laboratory from Professor George Candia. So please welcome George Wagner, Jonas Wagner, sorry. Oh, just one sec, we'll get the slide up. Sure. So in the meantime, no pressure, Janessa. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. You're actually my heroes for getting the slide. Um, so hopefully we should get that. We had it uh, a second, though. It should be back in a so minute. Much. Is anybody here from Janessa's lab? Nobody here? They're all working? You have a very serious lab. Well, so I'll tell you a true story. Um, when I received the notification about this final, I was in the United States at a conference. Like the introducer said, we go to conferences from time to time. And I put this in my calendar at 5.30 on Monday in US Pacific time. <laughs> it ended up being um, Tuesday at uh, 1 in the morning, so I actually thought it was Tuesday, which means I'm here with a bit of, well... Are you, are you still jet-lagged? Unfitting clothing and... Um, <laughs> My slide was sort of sent last minute, so it's, it's very pardonable that <laughs> there are a little bit of issues. So have you come from the lab? Or you <laughs> when did you find out that it was this evening? About, about an hour ago? Uh, uh, about an hour ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how did you figure that out? Did somebody tell you? or? Oh, I invited a friend and told him, why don't you come tomorrow and send him the Facebook event? And he said, well, but the date says it's today. <laughs> you, should, you should thank that friend. You have you at, least, at least one or two beers after, after this evening. How are we getting on with the slide? Is that the right slide? It is the right slide. It's the like, lower left corner of the slide. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this stage we should be thankful we've got a slide. So but, I'm going to hand you over, Jonas. But I guess I could do with that, actually. Okay. Yeah. Jonas Wagner. <laughs> so yeah, I'm Jonas, and in my thesis, I create tools that help developers to produce reliable software. <laughs> now, <laughs> as I said, a developer's life is not always easy. And to give you an example why this is so, I'd ask you to think of a password. The longer, the better. OK? Now, if I were a software developer and I were to build a login form, I would follow the algorithm here on the left. I would ask the user to enter their password, and then I would check whether the two passwords match. And if yes, I would show a welcome screen. And if no, my code would do this cool shaky thingy and then return back to the top. Nothing can go wrong, right? Well, turns out that less than two months ago, a vulnerability was, effect, uh, was discovered that affected Android phones. And actually, if you entered in your Android phone a password that's about 200,000 characters long, then that code here in the middle would take a bit of time. The login screen would become unresponsive, and the operating system would kill it. And then the phone was unlocked. Well, this is, of course, a serious security issue, but it shows how difficult the life of a programmer can be. And honestly, did any of you think about 200,000 characters when I asked you for a password? Anyway, in my thesis, <laughs> I'm doing two things to help. The first thing is that I built tools that um, produce surprising inputs for programs. These tools, they analyze the program and convert it into a mathematical formula. The formula is constructed in a way that if it has a solution, then there is an input that will cause the program to do something that it hasn't done before. And developers can use this to find um, bugs and problems. The other thing that I'm doing is I transform programs. That is, I build tools that take a program, and then they add a lot of security checks to it. These checks um, detect irregular situations while the program is running and prevent bad things from happening. And so my approach is different from everybody else's out there because I can add such checks without making the program slow, without producing this rotating pizzas of death. <laughs> the secret there is 
to measure every single one of these checks and find a few that are slow and kick them out and keep just the thousands of checks that are fast enough. Now, in the last 20 seconds, I'd like to tell you why I'm doing this. Well, the first reason is that, obviously, we all depend on our computers, for example, to simulate um, the Large Hadron Collider. But also, I do it because I like it, and I hope I manage to transmit some of the fascination to you today. Thank you.